Okay, so this tutorial will primarily be um, texturing, but first of all, uh, a little bit more optimizing, which I noticed uh, previously. Um, this section here, this is two polys here, but if we rearranged how it was done, these four polys could actually be just two polys. So to begin, what we're going to do is cut across this way and then select the edge and that's reduced the poly count a little bit more in fact now what we're going to do is grab whoop, let's delete those verts first just those ones, yep now we're going to Grab that X position and then bring these across and weld. So we can look at the poly count, that's about just over a thousand, that's fine. Now, to begin with, what I'm going to do is hit M, bring up the material editor. We've also got this button here that does it. Now, firstly, first material, we're going to go down to maps and diffuse, which is the one we want it. And we're going to use a bitmap and we'll display all types and we'll have cream siding, which is basically just weatherboard. And we go back down and show standard map in viewport. So when we apply it, it'll basically be visible, opposed to if we uncheck that, it's just grey and it's only when we render where we can actually see that it's uh, applied. So we hit that. Now I've just applied that to everything and so now we can go through and specifically um, apply everything else to the other textures. So I'm going to grab this and we'll get the sort of roof tiling or shingles I believe uh, the texture I found is called. So yep that's all of it. And we'll go to the next material slot and we'll go maps, diffuse, bitmap again, and red shingles, tan, or yeah, red shingles, and same deal again. And as you can see, as I apply this to these uh, materials, they're really not sort of going and attaching all that well, which we will fix later. But now what we're going to do is. I'll do one more and then I'll start showing you how to make them fit the objects better. So we'll go bitmap and we'll go all files and we'll grab wood. And we pretty much can just select all of that. So that's all the supports. And we can also select a lot of the um, Basically, the wood would hold everything together, so if we grab a lot of the areas that would go around, and that make just make everything look a little bit better. And that looks about right. So we'll apply that texture, and now what we're going to do is we're going to, let's do the roof first. So I'm going to grab the roof, or everywhere the roof material is applied. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and we want UVW map. And you see that's a little bit better already, but what we're going to do is, whoop, flip this little plus and go to gizmo. We'll hit F2 so we can see what we've got selected. And what we'll do is we'll click box and then we'll scale that down until it's, you know, a nice small looking texture. Now that all looks quite nice, but you see it only looks good on these four polys here. I think that's four. Yep, all four of them. And then for these areas here, it's actually wrong. Actually, this one here is okay as well. But essentially what we need to do is we collapse 2 
and now we'll select again but we'll reduce our selection to being just these and now what we're going to do is UV map again we're going to go box as we did before gizmo and then scale it until we're happy with it but what we actually also have to do is scale it this way as well now this is where it gets a little trickier um, we need to make it line up and so it needs to be a similar scale as well and so what I like to do is the anchor point is a very good place to use for you know making everything line up so essentially what we've got now is everything will line up to where the anchor point is and so that's starting to look a little bit better for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna say that's close enough even though it's not It's gonna get. It's gonna really gonna bother me if I don't get this right. But really, that's good enough. So as long as it kind of lines up, it's good enough. So that kind of looks right. And I guess if you're not looking directly at it, then it's okay. Uh, we'll do the weatherboard, and I guess we'll call it quits after that because oops that's most of the um, textures that you really need to bother about and once you get the hang of it it's all quite easy so we'll select as much as we can we'll just do a quick go uh, there and there and I think that's all and so UV map gizmo we'll go box you can see this texture is way too big but it's aligning okay so we'll just scale that down till we're quite happy with it then collapse too that's starting to get what we're looking for and what we'll do is we'll hide that and we'll grab all the windows and we'll just apply this uh, wood texture to it just to make us happy and we're starting to get what is looking like a proper house in fact we'll do one more we'll grab this part of the decking and we'll get another texture wood planks and we'll apply that and UVW map, box, and we'll scale. Oops. We'll scale that down until we're happy with it. In fact, let's make it that way. And just to go the extra mile, or several inches. We'll make that line up as much as we can so it looks like they're full floorboards as well. So we could do the rest, but I'm pretty sure you're getting the idea. So there's that. And we want to collapse too, so it applies that to the house. So there we have it. I hope people have learnt things.